We've been recording this orchestrated album where we go back and look at some of the really old stuff, you know, some of the old Ultravox stuff, taking it right up to some of the new uh, solo stuff and um, kind of reinventing the songs. We walked in the cold I didn't want an album of just the original versions with some strings stuck on top, because I think that, that gets done to death, and I thought that was incredibly boring. So the whole idea of this is to take some of the songs and do something completely different with them. You know, rearrange them, reimagine them. Uh, there's no point in just bringing something out that sounds exactly the same as it did 35 years ago, except it's got an orchestra on it. You know, take it and do something new and fresh and exciting with it. Dancing is a, is a great example. The original was a, a, you know, kind of a normal kind of rock pop song. Um, and for me, I wanted to do treat it as a big ballad. So for a lot of it, it is essentially nothing other than just strings and piano. That's it, there's piano and strings, which just kind of enhances the whole um, feel and tragedy of, of, the, of the, the lyrics. It's fine. We've spent the last 18 months with me just demoing these using um, using samples for the orchestration. I think the difference with a track like this is that it's very exposed. All the strings are very exposed, and um, and there's a, there's a limit to how much of the swelling and human quality that you can I can build into the writing and samples. So the next stage with a track like this is getting the real orchestra on board and that will take it to the next level. Thank you. Although uh, I haven't heard you yet. <laughs> I want to thank you for making my mediocre music much better. So I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys do. What the orchestra here brings is the human element, the frailties, the failures, the mm -hmm. passion, the emphasis, you know, all of that stuff that I, only a human can do. And when you get a group of humans doing that and they pull together and do it together, it's just incredible. Okay, let's start. Any better than that? That's just wonderful. It's, it might be, it might be slightly pompous, and it might be a little OTT in places. But sometimes the music needs that. It deserves that kind of huge platform. And I just, I can feel right now just exactly what this is going to be like. And when people get to hear this performed either on record or performed live, they're going to get the same kick out of it that I'm getting. That's just. Wonderful, you can't buy that. I think I'm doing really well. I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> I just, never I, is. I love the fact that we're working with a, an absolutely professional, the consummate professionals. Because we're sitting going, okay. that sounds great. And they're going, well, I think we can probably do another one. And so it's fantastic. I'm cool. They, they love what they're the doing. Next, next, oh, next song. Oh, next song. This is a new track, uh, Ordinary Man. We thought it'd be great to write something brand new and orchestrate it from scratch. Uh, and I have to say the results are fantastic. When you're young, you write songs of the future, songs about what's to come. 
start getting a bit older, you start writing about what's left. And being an ordinary man, as I can consider myself as, um, you can uh, reflect on what's gone before you, what else you might do with the time you've got left. So it's quite, in a classic mature sense, miserable. Because I kind of do a good miserable song. But sometimes that's how you think. It's just different. Guys, I just want to say, this has been an amazing experience for me to hear something that I've had a hand in composing and writing and to hear people of your talent and stature playing it. And I'm extremely humbled and very, very honored that you've done this for me. So I thank you and I hope we'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you very much. He has an amazing voice, and if I'm completely honest with you, I think his voice is better now than it was, you know, kind of back then. And I'm not the only one to to have said that. And so you've got this incredibly powerful voice, um, and I just try to heighten that more than anything else. It wasn't just a matter of looking at individual songs. We tried to do something that was, um, that was, it, it made an overall picture, the entire album. And I just wanted to go back to actually doing an album as an album, as a- that took a, you on a journey. That took you on a journey. It was a piece of work and every track is a, a separate entity. There are, theoretically, there should be no, the, no two tracks on it that sound that's similar. They all have an individuality. They're all like they're all like babies, and they're all our favourite babies. Although some babies obviously are more favourite than others, but we don't tell them. If we had a blueprint that we had drawn up to take something and reimagine it and rework it and treat it like a new song, we could kind of tear up the blueprint now because we've done exactly what we set out to achieve. 